Greetings and welcome back. I'm Flop and this is my Legacy of the Void Let's Play. Um, we I feel like we kicked butt over in Taldarim headquarters. Alarak is on our side ish. And uh, the Death Fleet moves at his whims. So, what are we after now? Colossi, I believe, were revivifying purifier technology if I recall correctly and we probably got a lot to talk about so have the Tal talk to me accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal some have others dare not question my commands none wish to declare Rakshir upon you let them no one can stand in the way of my vengeance this grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire, and let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Such sass. All right, so let's take a what we got here. And Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. All right, so uh, carriers available over there. It's like capital ships. Um, or we can go to India. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden Quite weapon, curious. but I have seen their potential in Phoenix what and the Colossus know that this time they will not are. fail us. So let's go ahead and do that. I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers cannot be controlled, Artanis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considered what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. What? I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Would you not rebel against this slave master? <laughs> I have heard your counsel, <laughs> and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once. All right, it's on. Fire stasis grid is still intact. We'll have to destabilize it from the generator below. And he was never found that thing, and we're like, what? I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Oh, hey, fighting Zerg is nice. I'm tired of fighting Protoss. Hierarch, I have powered up a new ship subsystem. You can review it. And Our scouts are reporting that the Dominion is attempting to. What you plan care. to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantanum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. 
I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. All right. What goodies do we unlock? brought his ascendants into our fold. They are fierce, but strong. I like both fierce and strong. Psionic onslaught. Vengeance for the betrayed. What in the world? Mind Blast. 200 damage to a target unit for a ton of mana. Psionic Orb. Deals 10 damage per second to all enemies along its path. Holy crap. And Sacrifice. Reduce target friendly unit to one life. Grants the ascendant two energy for each life point reduced up to its maximum energy. Perfect use on those uh, sentinels. So these guys are just brutal casters. The only question is, hey, are you going to be able to micro them well enough? <laughs> All right, I will try them out. I want to see how strong they are. Anything else? Let's see, if I'm going to be micro these destroyers, or ascendants, then we can leave the immortals as is. Blood hunters are amazing. The Havoc, likewise amazing. Immortals. We'll stick. Phoenix, the ascendant. The destroyer is awesome. All right. Talk to me, Karex. The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. But it certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. It is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Once the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. All right. Leave the defense to me. Talk to me. I know this will work, Hierarch. Can you just add some green? I know. I can Later. guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be. Now, things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes. You embark upon a task man. that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. <laughs> I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. Aww. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. It's pretty deep. Pretty deep. With that, I just want to deploy him more. Uh, but let's take a look at our new stuff. Wow, that is crazy. 25% bonus to movement speed and 15% bonus to attack speed while positioned within a pylon's power field. Guardian Shell. Friendly has become vulnerable for 5 seconds when taking fatal damage, preventing death. Each unit can be shielded only once every 60 seconds. That's just a thing. Spirit Badoon automatically repairs damage mechanically units for 5 life per second and damage structures for 10 life per second. 
Up to three targets can be repaired at once. Wow. That's crazy. Are these all passives? These look passives, yeah. Jeez. Um, some sick passives, guys. Oh, we haven't looked at the mission. Tell me what's up. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyros. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Seal all caves with rocks in less than 40 seconds after Zerg begin to emerge from them. So we gotta be able to hit these rock caves fast. Destroy all Zerg structures on normal difficulty. Okay. So we are really gonna have to be crushing it, uh, which means we want powerful offensive abilities to stay on the move. On Solar Lance. On Phoenix. Warp reinforcements would be nice uh, to get us that, like... For one, it could give us extra troops. But we can't... They could also trigger matrix overload. Yeah, let's go with that. Starting supply. Orbital assimilator is tempting. And I'm curious about Guardian Shell, but willing to let it be. Alright, I think we are prepared. Let's hit this mission. Alright, for the Colossi. Destroy some shield generators. That one about your units survive at like one health for five seconds. That's probably incredibly good. And the other one that repairs mechanical units. Whew. I mean, the Protoss, all their best units are mechanical. Except the Archons, which have no health anyway. <clears throat> that's, that's pretty crazy. Plus it, it restores your buildings. Oh man. That would make your, yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty sick. Oops, we should have. S Maybe I should have switched to uh, some of the area of effectiveness. Cyrus, the bolt of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Amon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endian's <coughs> records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. It will need protection. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. All right, I gotta be on top of... If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi. Steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Yeah, buddy. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. We're going backwards. That's how they fare. All right, they got the range boost. Fifteen damage. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. There you go. Man, 
and we're good. Dying of fire animations. Well All right. done. The area is secure. Warp coordinates for our nexus point are locked. Karax, activate the megalith. Okay, we gotta destroy the building and authorization and get rid of these. The megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status right, and alert you when it is online. The Megalith systems will take a few moments to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. I wish. This is attack. Are there like Zerg everywhere? We don't want to move out without having a fairly significant force. Let's get one of those on the way. More of these. The Megalith should be finishing up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. I'm working. Reaches the stasis locks safely. stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does its work. Okay. Detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, 
Ensure none reach our nexus point. But which way are they coming from? Almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations for its next move. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay. Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the next one. Need more gas. of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It uh -oh. shall be brought down shortly. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. Zerg abominations, you face the wrath of Phoenix. Megalith's work is nearly complete. It will move again soon.
with 60%. The Megalith is en route to the third lock now. forms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Topple the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. Here we go, 40 seconds. Well done, warrior. The Megalith is disabling the third lock. Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. Detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. Okay, we're gonna want Phoenix for this one. Glory is at hand, brothers. Join me as I slay these. This lock is almost destabilized. The megalith will relocate shortly. Phoenix will keep him off of the... Disabled, and the megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. It's gonna upgrade shields, air weapons. Oh yeah.
got all the bonus objectives. We're looking pretty boss. Awesome. Phase link authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. There is an entire Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Not even a scratch. Man, I should have attacked up here first. Some really powered up add ups here. Have we destroyed all the buildings? A pair of Warp Phoenix should help us out. down and the megalith is traveling stasis grid at 20 percent wait i'm detecting activity in the zerg hive nearby they're reinforcing the last lock with what Okay, we've got them scouting for buildings we haven't destroyed. Oh man, these destroyers are so awesome. I found these guys. Did we win? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is ah, down. Fair. We've done it. Cybros is free from stasis. Recall our forces from Endion's service. We take this battle to Cybros. Ah, 
darn, we didn't get either of these. Yeah, uh, they're kind of finicky. Not really important seeming. Maybe on Brutal, we're gonna be like, must need these things. On Brutal, they really stretch the extra power they give you uh, through these alternate unit Hierarch, types. One of our combat that's... units can be assigned a new faction through the console in the War Council. All right, awesome. We are gonna close down this episode here. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We, I mean, definitely cakewalked through it, but uh, I guess it could have been a bit smoother. I was much better at spending my uh, Spear of a Dune energy uh, regularly for that one. But uh, next time, I suppose we will unlock the true power of the purifiers, since these missions seem to come in pairs. Until then, farewell, and remember to do as I say. I do.